हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन टेली डोट ई आई पी नाइन्स नेक्स्ट क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल टीच यू हाउ टू ट्रीट इनकम टैक्स इन टेली डोट ई आई पी नाइन इन टेली डोट ई आई पी नाइन इफ इट इज योर पर्सनल एबिलिटी टू पे द इनकम टैक्स ऑन योर नेट प्रोफिट यू जस्ट गो टू प्रोफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड जस्ट एक्सपोर्ट यूर Uh, profit and loss count uh, and then uh, you have to uh, uh, calculate the income tax uh, by calculating the taxable income as per income tax law 9061 there is not any feature in tally dot eip 9 yes uh, if uh, you have to pay the income tax of your employees if uh, you did not pay the tds and uh, you you going to uh, the assessment years so your liability is to pay the income tax uh, of your employee for this uh, you have to activate uh, the features accounting features uh, maintain payroll and uh, you have to write a yes and uh, also statutory and taxation uh, features and uh, en uh, enable tds tax deducted at source yes and also enable payroll statutory yes okay and uh, then uh, you have to create uh, accounting vouchers accounting lasers laser accounts first you have to uh, uh, create uh, your gross salary under direct uh, under indirect expenses indirect expenses you just uh, deleted uh, some which entries uh, just one minute uh you have to show this uh, gross salary as a, as in direct expenses gross salary in direct expenses not applicable now you also have to create a income tax under duties and taxes others okay now we have to create a payroll vouchers just uh, we have to pay through sbi our employees rajesh and uh, income tax is uh, Eight thousand. So create a just a gross salary. I am just mistaking. Ah, uh, just uh, we have to show the effect. Yes. any now we have to pass the voucher entry payroll vouchers rajesh but why it is not showing we have to create a, we have to create a, this gross salary in the pay head so we are deleting it now in the payroll voucher this is a payroll by clicking this sbi rajesh income tax we have to pay 8000 this is a liability 
we have taken 8000 from implies from this his series and uh, we am creating gross salary this is indirect expenses this is earning yes 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 gross sale is 20,000 it means uh, we have paid we, we are debiting so we had paid and uh, accepting now effect of this entry through balance sheet one side uh, we just paid uh, 12,000 because uh, 20,000 income tax and uh, 8,000 still liability we added uh, this amount in this so by uh, passing the payroll entries so we need not uh, pay again this we just uh, pay this amount 8,000 we just check it we am just checking wrong this is income tax it means uh, this uh, account debit and this account credit this is a deduction this is a earning net amount uh, received by Ajish 12,000 so we have this 8,000 and uh, in our bank account and the next entry uh, by passing uh, we pay to the government account only 8,000 just passing the voucher entries payment this is a payment voucher this is a uh, I'm creating a uh, next H HDFC bank this is a bank and uh, this is a uh, income tax 8000 this is the implies now it will be debit the employees amount transfer to income tax department okay now effect on the balance sheet now there is no liability we just uh, debit uh, our our 20,000 12,000 uh, of uh, our employees and uh, 8,000 income tax of employee